Hey guys, today I was reviewing one of my client's dates, one of his interactions that he had on his dates. And uh, I noticed an uh, area that he was doing, uh, one thing that he was doing like, very wrong, that I think a lot of guys could get value from if they fixed. Just basically being more polarizing on the date and being more assured of yourself as the, as the leader, right? Because you want to have the masculine energy so she can fall into a feminine frame, right? Always. And the way you do that is you be a leader, right? So the thing that he was doing on his date, which I was telling him like to avoid is basically sounding so unsure about the things that you're doing. Like he was mentioning like, I do DJing, but like not really been doing it for a long time. It'd be bad right now. That's not the leader who she wants to be with. She wants to be with the top guy. She wants to be with the king. She wants to be with the leader. Or she wants to be with someone who's going to be that leader who has the drive, who has the ambition, right? So if you're not the guy yet, if you're not the guy who you want to be yet, in a in a in a date situation when you're on a date with a girl you still need to come through with that confidence right you need to come through with that energy that oh, yeah, i am the guy that she's looking for right and the way you portray that is is being a man and what i mean by that is having the confidence to know that you're a problem solver and then you you that you can get things solved right if you don't know how to solve something oh you can give it a go and you can give it your, your shot and you can maybe figure it out because you have that trust in your capabilities, right? And I think that's what essence of being confident is, especially on, on a date, and you need to convey that. And obviously the whole process of learning game is being able to convey the most amount of value in the shortest amount of time. That's what I always talk about. And the, the more you level up in the skill, I'm able to do that, right? So in the first 10 seconds, I really, when I'm cold approaching the girl, I always convey my value in the shortest amount of time possible where it's not too try hard, not saying I'm, I'm a celebrity, I'm a famous guy, but sort of giving her the mystery that I am very important and I know my worth and I think that's what makes you attractive to women and that's where I think most men go wrong on dates is they act unassured of themselves they act inconfident about themselves and that really translates into this guy is not going to be the leader for me so I should not sleep with him basically that's what the girl's thinking in her head when she's on that date you know? and this is why you're having problems with like pushing the date forward actually moving the date along getting it to progress getting it to the house or the next venue whatever he's struggling with that and I think a lot of men struggle with this and the reason is because they're doing this one major thing, one step wrong on their dates, which is actually just being unassured, right? And the other thing I was talking about is being polarizing. Like being polarizing basically for me, it just means not being afraid to have an opinion which is different from everyone else's and that's not to say to force any opinions, any fake opinions that you don't hold. Like just be open about the opinions that you do hold, you know, because when you are able to say, oh, I don't really like this and I like this, that shows her, oh, this guy's the leader. This guy's like, he knows what he wants, he knows what he's like, the way he stands for, and he's not afraid to, to say something else is bad. You know, that way, the value that you, when you say I like something, that has that holds more weight to it than when you, a random guy who's just a yes man, who's just agreeing everything on the date with the girl, just so he can, you know, with the hopes of, of getting something from her. She can sense that like, desire, that motive that you have, you know, and that should not be, it should never be a thing of like, you have a motive when you're with a girl, right? It should always just be a vibe of, I'm just here to have a good time and I'm just living my life and being self-amused and being happy in my own skin. And if she wants to be with me and spend that time with me, cool. If she doesn't, that's cool as well. That's sort of the mentality that you need to come at it from. And most guys just have that wrong. They just completely do it the opposite way where they're sort of trying to be just yes men to the girl and just agreeing with everything she says. And that's why a lot of these girls have these overinflated egos is because every single guy that they've interacted to has been in a scarcity mindset. and He's always just agreed with everything that the girl said. So that's why they think that they're very smart. Or they're coming up with some crazy new philosophical idea when they say the most basic dumb facts that they have you know? and this is on some days not say that all girls are just stupid and, and you know, they have bad ideas but generally obviously everyone can agree with this as you get older you understand that there's more levels to this game you understand that there's more nuances and all this stuff so you're you're constantly leveling up as a guy because you have to live in a world full of you know, best idea wins and you have to actually live in reality for a lot of these girls man they're living in the lulu land where any guy they go on a date with just thinks that they're God's great gift and they're just being very nice for no reason just, just based on the fact that she's beautiful you know that just gives her the idea that oh yeah thing I say is always right and she doesn't feel any fear going into the world with the idea that she has you know? and uh, it's just basically it comes from just a lack of men being masculine men being leaders men being strong and I think if you guys can fix that in your dates you're going to start getting some some crazy breakthroughs and that's basically it so if you guys want to actually get on a call and discuss things about your specific situation feel free to book a 15 minute call links below to my calendly so you can book a 15 minute call with me there and we can discuss if there's anything that i can help you with or any specific problem that you're facing if you can go through that also my ebook on the ultimate online mind guide is available now 
So just message me the word ebookcon asing13 on my email. Uh, sorry, on, on my Instagram and asing13 at googlemail.com on my email. Just message me the word ebook and we can discuss about that. Uh, I'm launching it soon, but until I launch it, I'm doing a little bit of a discount as well. So if you guys are interested and want to jump on soon, message me the word ebook on airsync13 on Instagram or airsync13 at googlemail.com. Google and apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.